Welcome to another episode of Fire and the Intake. Dakota Evans here. Uh, this video is going to be kind of a retro Fire and the Intake video. It was made before this channel was even made and kind of inspired it because I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, most of this is going to be unedited and just raw. It's kind of a longer video, so um, stay tuned. Just watch the it. It's pretty, pretty good. Uh, I do a lot of driving testing. A lot of my knowledge wasn't as good as it is now. This was about six months ago um so it this basically this truck the story behind it it was my father's work truck he used to haul pine needles from where we live in south carolina down to the bottom of georgia uh back and forth and that's what he used it for and um it started skipping after he put it under a lot of stress one day and he kind of he just parted and just left it there so um they were gone one day my parents were and i thought it'd just be a good idea to get out there and see if i can get it running i um, didn't know much about cars then but um this truck had one of the first generation uh vortex 350s in it uh, this is a 2000 but it's producing 99 uh 3500 uh so he loved the truck so i wanted to do something with it so maybe he could drive it again and we did drive after after this video so uh, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. All right, cold start. All right, here we go.
brake's a little stiff. For some reason, the turn signal stuck on. It ain't got one. I'll blame it. On the right side. Instead in the back. One more round. There they go, though. I think that might have been set in the brake line because now they're working a little better. See if they work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. All right. 
RPM staying steady. I don't see no codes throwing up. Been sitting about two years. Just got it cranked up with a battery's been sitting five years. Let it charge for a few days. Drove it up the driveway. Got a little got a little tick to it, but uh running pretty good, running pretty good. Again, I don't have no complaints for a truck that's been sitting two years with two-year-old gas in it. Um had a little trouble first, didn't crunk, but uh that, that's the second time it fired right up, you know, probably just from the old gas. After we clean up a little bit, it's gonna be for sale. Nice. Chevy 3500 2000. All right, second test drive. And it just goes right in reverse. No problem at all with the transmission. And this thing still got the power. It's been uh, running probably, what is it, 10 minutes? 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. um, running about uh, 150 degrees, so no problem with overheating at all. Um, battery is running right at 15 volts. RPM's resting right around 500, 600, which is where it always set for this, this truck. The squeal is from the belt. And this is the second test run. The first one, it uh, had to hold, for, because of the old gas, I'm guessing, uh, I had to hold down the pedal keep it running or not it just flood out but it's running good it's running real good I mean it's changing in and out of gear smoothly um, gas gauge don't work so I'm not sure how much gas is in it but I'm guessing not much but like I said it's been sitting two years brakes are a little stiff but uh I hit it earlier and it sounded like there's something maybe in the brake line, like it busted free. But it ain't, I mean, as far as running now, really ain't nothing wrong with it. That's how you know a truck's dependable. This has been for two years, keep the same gas in it, and a five year old battery hadn't been, the battery hadn't ran in five years. And you, you, you fire it up and boom! Fires up just like that. If it wasn't for the gas, if it wasn't for the old gas, it would have fired right up. I have no doubt in my mind it would have fired right up. I'm gonna turn around right here at church. Still has the power. This thing it pull a freaking axle have a tractor 3500 5.7 liter vortex 2000 still run it to 40 in that little span interior the seat and the steering wheel has got a little wear on it but it's been well used I don't want to drive it too far to the road because it ain't got a tag or insurance on it but around here as you see it comes in and out of gear smoothly Brakes, brakes are stiff, but they do work. The reason we parted it is we thought it had trouble with the distributor cap. Um, after it had like a, it had some strain put on the engine, and I think it filed it out because it done that a few times in the past.
wearing them in. in that little bit. So you got the power still. I can smell I can smell brake fluid. Not sure if that's a good thing or bad thing. Woo! Still running uh 100 and 150, 155, yeah, 155. I think it's got a short in it because every time I hit the brakes, the uh, that's why I got the brake just turned loose. I think it had the brake on. That's why the um, every time I hit the brake, the turn signal comes on. So I think there's a short in it. I think the brake was stuck down because now, I mean, you feel that. Watch this. Yeah, they're grabbing now. They're grabbing now. They ain't got a, And I smell the brake dust burning. So, yeah, it probably just had a little build up on it. So, I should have sprayed some cleaner on it, but this thing's really surprising me. It's working real good. Uh, just for some reason, whenever I hit the freaking brake, the right turn signal cuts on. So, not sure what's up with that. Probably just got a. There it goes. Okay, now the fuel hand starts working, but. Yeah, it's got some wiring the issues they all ship it through. But... Got the power, got the power. That's that 354 tech. It's a gas engine in a 3500. You rarely see even a 5.7 in a in a 3500 that's got uh, single wheels in the back. Cause, you know, most 3500s are, are, are duals and they got a diesel. But this one don't. This is uh, this only got 217,000 miles. I didn't put three miles on it, so that I got it, got it running. And uh, I mean, for that, I mean, this truck run good. And he just had what happened was it had a load of watermelons on it, and uh, he strained the engine a little bit, and the thing fired out of the stripper cap. But um, seems like it's running pretty good to me. I know it's got a squeak from the belt, but it's always had that. But I ain't got no complaints. Runs just as good as my truck. He's asking 2000 for it. And I think that's a low ball. And uh, even himself said, you know, if I can get it running, it's going to go up. sure the alternator's in charge of the battery by now because it's still running about 15 volts where it should be. And see. So got, so got windshield wiper fluid in. That only made it a little worse though. Need to clean that off. But heck yeah, I mean after uh let's see let's uh let's let's pull it in here just to be sure. And turn it off and see if it cranks back up. Up. 
catch her up. Hey, if you need a good truck, one to pull the heck anything you want. This is it right here. After I clean it up, I'm probably going to spend 4,000 for it.